Hi, this is Senator Elizabeth Warren, and I'm sure sorry I can't be here in person tonight, but I'm very glad to have a chance to celebrate the Springfield Republicans' terrific new book, The Power of Women. Now, Massachusetts has always led the country in revolution, in education, in medicine, civil rights, but for too long, our history books have only told the stories of great men. I'm delighted that the incredible women of Western and Central Massachusetts have decided that it is time, in fact, long past time, to tell another story. I love Massachusetts. It has been the greatest honor of my life serving as your senator. When I ran for the Senate for the first time six years ago, Massachusetts had never elected a woman as senator or governor. A lot of people, good people, told me Massachusetts wasn't ready to elect a woman to statewide office. I didn't want girls thinking that that was the way it had to be. So during my campaign, whenever I'd meet a little girl on the campaign trail, I'd take her pinky and tell her, my name is Elizabeth and I'm running for the Senate because that's what girls do. And then we'd make pinky promises to remember that. If there was ever a moment in history that proved we need more women in leadership roles, surely this is it. Women know why it matters to fight for the underdog. We know in our bones what it's like to be discriminated against, second-guessed, and underestimated because of who we are. This November, a record number of women are stepping up to run for office at all levels. From the women's marches to the Me Too movement, women are speaking out. We're changing the country to make life better for all the girls who come after us. Let's be clear, we're here today because of the power of the women who came before us. The power of women to come up with good ideas. Women like Emily Dickinson, who grew up in Amherst and who wrote poetry that still inspires readers all over the world. The power of women to serve their country, like Deborah Sampson of Plimpton, she disguised herself for over two years to serve as a soldier in General George Washington's Continental Army. And the power of women to make sure that our country works, not just for some of us, but for all of us. Like the suffragette Paulina Wright Davis, who helped plan the first National Women's Right Convention in Worcester in 1850. You know, I am grateful down to my toes to be part of this celebration of powerful Massachusetts women. I can't wait to read The Power of Women. And more importantly, I can't wait for my granddaughters to read it. So thank you and congratulations to the Springfield Republican on this powerfully important new book.